Let's check out how to make the background spiral animation here in Photoshop and Illustrator. If you want to check out how to make the spiral design Illustrator, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the tutorial I made. Now let's go to Photoshop. I'm going to click on remove background here. And now we're going to add a separated background. So I'm going to click on solid color. I'm going to make it cyan how it was before. Click OK, drag it under the model and make sure to be on the color fill. Now we're going to go back to Illustrator, select the biggest circle here, press Ctrl C. Let's go back to Photoshop, press Ctrl V. Make sure that you're on the shape layer here, click OK. Let's go back to Illustrator, select the smaller circle, Ctrl C. Go back to Photoshop, Ctrl V, shape layer, click OK. And you do the same with the rest as well. I also going to recolor these, just double click on the thumbnail. I'm going to make them black. Press and hold Shift, select all the circles, press Ctrl T, press and hold Alt, scale it up, double click release. Now we're going to start animating these circles. So let's go to the windows and activate the timeline, which is right here. If your timeline doesn't show up like this, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the tutorial so you can check out how to work with the timeline. But we're going to create a two second animation. So I'm going to drag it to the second second and I'm going to bring these back one by one. Now we're going to go to animate the circles. I'm going to go with the biggest shape, I think. Yeah, this is the biggest shape. Open up this little arrow and we should have here something called transform. But as you can see, we don't have it. Now, in order to have the transform option, you're going to need to go to the layer and right click. And let's go to convert to smart object. Now let's go back to the timeline, to the shape. Let's open it up. And as you can see, we get the transform right here. And what we're going to need to do again, press Ctrl R to activate the ruler. And I'm going to drag a ruler where this line is, for example. Now let's animate it, bring this all the way to the beginning. Let's activate the stopwatch at the transform bring it all the way to the end now. And I'm going to press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift and rotate it until, see that this is going to match this area. I think this is somewhere around 60 degree angle. I'm not sure. I'm going to double click release. And as you can see, it added another keyframe here. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to bring it back, click on play. And it looks something like this. The second circle you animate into the opposite direction. And this is how you make the seamless loop animation here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.